Hey everybody, Catsynth TV, and today we are exploring Pendulate, a free instrument from newfangled audio that combines principles of chaos theory with the West Coast architecture of Buchla and Surge synthesizers. We'll show you how to use all of this instrument's parameters to create your own sounds, as well as look at a few of the factory presets. But first, please do consider supporting this channel so that we may bring you more synthesizer and cultural content regularly. Links to Merch, Patreon, and Ko-Fi are in the description below. Pendulate takes inspiration from the physics of a double pendulum, one of the simplest mechanical systems to exhibit chaotic behavior. Unlike the simple periodicity of a single pendulum, the behavior of a double pendulum will vary wildly based on the change in its initial settings, as seen in the simulation. And yet, there are still patterns that emerge from the chaos. This is the concept of strange attractors that we saw in our demo of the instrument Cult by Dawson. We'll link to that demo in the corner here and in the description below. Now the mathematics is probably a little bit out of scope of this video, but if you'd like to learn more about it, please let us know in the comments below. Like the double pendulum, the interface and architecture of Pendulate are deceptively simple. We have the main elements of the voice, the double pendulum oscillator, which feeds into a bucle style wave folder, and into a low-pass gate. One cool thing is that if you play a note, these three voice modules light up. If you want to just see the graphics without the user interface, you can do that by going to Settings, Graphics, and Turn Off Show Controls. There, pretty cool. But let's turn the controls back on. The lower half of the interface includes some global controls, as well as modulation sources. There are several MIDI modulation sources, as well as an assignable envelope and LFO. Finally, there is an overall level control with an automatic limiter, which comes in handy sometimes. Okay, let's initialize the parameters and take a closer look at the double pendulum oscillator. It has a basic sine wave generator that one can think of as a simple pendulum. There's the chaotic generator, which is controlled by the chaos amount and shape. You can think of this as the second pendulum. There are also two sub-oscillators that are one and two octaves below the main pitch, respectively. Right now, we have the chaos amount at zero. We hear just the main sine wave and see a circle. Turn up the chaos amount. We hear some higher harmonics in the sound and see a more complex shape. Chaos shape changes the shape of the chaos generator. We get more complexity in the shape and inharmonic partials in the sound. We hit these islands of stability. As we increase the value, we'll hit more chaotic waveforms. Okay, so suppose we want our sound to start really noisy and chaotic, but then settle down into something more stable. We can use the envelope for this. The envelope has three simultaneous modes, Attack Decay, Standard ADSR, and an Attack Release Trapezoid mode. We'll use the AD mode. Click its control, we see this patch cable, and click on the target for Chaos Shape. Make the envelope slower.
we can make the attack and decay very fast to get a percussive sound. Another thing we can do is animate the oscillator, which uses a dedicated LFO to slightly detune the main sine wave. Now let's add in the sub-octave. and add in the double octave divider. Now you can hear one of the principles of chaos theory in action, which is that small changes in initial conditions, like changing the fundamental frequency, can have major effects on the overall sound and behavior. Some of the pitches are noisier than others. Okay, let's turn this down and look at the sync function. This is a little bit like a hard sync in analog subtractive synthesizers, in that it resyncs the chaos generator to the period of the main sine wave. Slow down the envelope. You know, I kind of like this, so let's go ahead and save it. Okay, turn off the sync and animation, and turn down the envelope modulation. Now let's look at the wave folder. This is a classic wave folder based loosely on the one found in the Buchla 259 complex oscillator. Basically, it distorts and folds the incoming signal to add more harmonics. It has a control for drive, Now the real power is in the folds parameter. This sets the number of times the wave is folded in a period, and it can even be a fractional amount. Symmetry adds DC to the wave folding function, which makes it more asymmetric. This is a good one to use with our LFO modulator. The LFO has several different waveforms available simultaneously. Let's use the sine wave. Crank folds all the way up. The 
Away Folder section also includes a gentle low-pass filter that can smooth out some of the high-frequency content. Now crank up the drive. Now we've been keeping things pretty stable with our wave folder so far. Let's add back in some chaos. Kind of cool, it's a more aggressive tone. A little crunchy at higher pitches. Let's use our AD envelope to control the chaos shape. We can also use the ADSR output from the envelope at the same time and control the folds. Make the envelope a bit shorter. Nice, it's almost like an alien harpsichord or clavinet. Okay, turn off the modulation. Now let's look at the low pass gate. You can think of a low pass gate as combining a VCA and a low pass filter together. Again, something found in a lot of Buchla designs. It has controls for the cutoff frequency, where the gate starts to close, the resonance of the filter, and the number of poles, which can morph between one pole for a VCA style gate, or two to three poles for a resonant filter. Let's set it to two. The low pass gate also has its own dedicated envelope. Turn down the frequency for a more muted tone. Turn up the resonance. That's starting to sound more like a classic analog bass. We can turn the sustain down to get a more staccato sound. Crank up the chaos. We can also increase the number of poles to three. Lower the frequency for a more drum-like sound. Okay, now that we've seen the basic functions of the synthesizer voice, let's go wild and add some more modulations. For the remainder of this video, we'll look at a few of the factory presets.
enjoyed this detailed exploration of Pendulate? To find out more, please visit newfangledaudio.com and check out the description below this video. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to CatSynth TV.